You're just such a sweet thing. You're just such a sweet little guy. You know that? You're a sweet stinker. Do you know you're a sweet stinker? Do you know? Do ya? What do you think? Oh, okay, you're walking towards me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. First things first, uh, yesterday we did a stream for Pokemon Let's Go, and we had like a tiny, a little, little itty-bitty uh, tech issue where um, by the end of the stream, the audio for the camera was a little bit off uh, from the video. It wasn't quite in sync. Um, I told myself, I was like, I'll work on that and, and figure that out, you know, the next day, which was today. Uh, I did work on it, and it's actually, it's a really hard thing to test because what, what's happening is that it slowly drifts out of sync, and this is a relatively new problem because we actually changed our, our stream setup a little bit, but it's hard to test because it takes hours before it shows up. And, like, that's kind of good on the one hand because, you know, when you're doing a stream, it it takes a while before the, the problem shows up. It's just really bad when you're trying to test it. So I tested it today, and the way I did it was I set everything up and did a recording. And then, you know, I, I clapped at the beginning, like, to make sure everything was in sync. And then I literally went and did whatever, worked, did whatever, then came back, like, four to five hours later, and then I did a clap and then I could test it and see if it was in sync. And then I would adjust something and then, you know, go from there. So I did two different sessions of that today. I did two different four and a half hour sessions. And um, on the at the end of the second session, I had solved at least that problem. There's still some other kinks to work out. But that specific problem uh, of the camera getting out of sync with the audio, I fixed. Um, and that was actually, that was something on my end. That wasn't a bug uh, that I needed to squash, that was me setting up something uh, incorrectly, solely because I just didn't know. Like I said, I changed some stuff up in the uh, in the setup. I'm going to talk about it at some point soon, uh, exactly what we did, but I'm not ready to talk about it yet because I want things to like work perfectly. Once they work perfectly, then I'll talk more about how I change things up, and everyone will be like, yeah, it makes sense why you did that. Um, but I got it working, and uh, that felt really good. It just, that's the worst sort of tests, uh, you know, to <laughs> to do something and you don't get immediate feedback. You're like, well, I guess I got to wait four hours, but, um, you know, it didn't take me multiple days. There's still other things to figure out, and that probably will take multiple days, but at least at bare minimum, I got that figured out. And I got to tell you, there there's something, I actually used this word the other day demoralizing. There's something very demoralizing when you're having issues and you can't figure it out. However, there's a flip side of that. And I don't think it's moralizing. <laughs> Is that a word? Moralize? Anyway, the it's the idea of there are problems, but you're solving them. So I'm still like, I'm still frustrated because who wouldn't be frustrated? You want everything to just work. But I'm less frustrated when I'm making progress which I guess is just like a human trait. But the fact that I'm, you know, I'm figuring some stuff out and I'm seeing improvements and I'm like, okay, I'm getting this solved, I'm getting this solved. That makes me feel good. It is, in fact, moralizing. Um, and I wish that there was just no problems ever, but second to that, I'll take this. I'll take this. Where I, I research stuff and I come up with a list of possible variables to change and I hypothesize about what's going on and which one would be most likely to fix it. And then I try it and I find out that I was right. That feels pretty dang good. Because uh, I, I think, you know, not only are you solving a problem, but it also makes you feel smart. You're like, oh, you know, I looked at the possible list of things and I thought this was most likely and it turns out that was it. So, yeah, yeah. That being said, Am I uh, tired of talking about the problems that have occurred with the new computer? Uh-huh, yeah. Yep. Not so tired that I won't talk about it on the vlog. Because, you know, the vlog is my life. But, still, ready to be done with it all. Ready to... Ready for things to just work until inevitably a Windows update breaks it all. That's the plan. Anyway... 
that's it for today. It was a Saturday. We did game night. We recorded another broken phone. Um, the response to broken phone has been really good. And I think going forward, we're, we're probably going to record them a little more often than we have. Because um, they're fun to do. And the audience really likes them. And they're easier to do than broken picture phone. It's not that we won't ever do broken picture phone again. It's just that the amount of time it takes for a recording is much less. Uh, broken phone between, you know, writing it and recording it takes, for, for a group of about 10 people, probably takes about 90 minutes. Um, maybe 60 to 90 minutes, depending on how quickly everyone's going. Broken picture phone, I've said this before, a group of 10 people takes three to four hours, which is just a really big time investment. Still fun, still worth doing from time to time, but harder to justify doing all the time. So there's that. Okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm super excited uh, for tomorrow because it's Sunday and we are planning on watching the next Lord of the Rings film, and I'm just really looking forward to it. I've, I've, I've actually been looking forward to it for several days, and I cannot remember the last time that I was pumped to watch something. So it's going to be a good day tomorrow. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? And because he just crawled up into my lap just now, why not enjoy a little Kepler? You can go back to Washington. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I won't. I won't bother you. There you go. Good boy.